a beautiful day out. Oh, I just stepped in a bunch of mud. Because I'm draining my pool into my yard. Yep, that's awesome. That, I, you know, there's nothing better than stepping in a bunch of slimy mud. But anyways, I'm draining the pool with a hose pipe out to the road. And that's taking forever. So I opened up the other drain plug and I'm just letting it dump in my yard. Uh, well, it's probably gonna be pretty wet. So I'm gonna go get the pavers here shortly, but I'm thinking I'm gonna let the ground dry out before I put the pavers under the legs. And um, we'll see how that goes. And maybe when I put the pavers on there, it'll pull some of the wrinkles out. I'm not gonna get this thing completely empty. So I'm still gonna have wrinkles because uh, it'd be so hard to smooth those out while having any water in here at all i would imagine i might try it uh but yeah i'm gonna straighten my legs out put pavers down i'm pretty excited for it i really appreciate all the comments and feedback i got about you know putting pavers that really well mainly the the high salt level made me really think about just doing this thing right and, and showing you guys how to do it right um so appreciate all the feedback for anybody that's commented um if you like this video and you want to see more of the pool stuff in the future hey hit the like button uh if you want to support me you can always you know click that subscribe button that would be greatly appreciated um got some projects coming up in the shop too that you don't want to miss out on and uh yeah let's go get some pavers it is the next day and i got some pavers and the pool is completely empty so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some pavers under these legs and see if I can move some dirt to make it all leveled out and, and, look, and look nice. Um, I got a skimmer, obviously, I think I've already showed you, um, but I ain't gonna put that in until I get some weight in the pool because putting a skimmer on this loose liner is gonna be a very difficult task. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get the wrinkles out yet. Um, it's pretty empty, so they should come out. But like, how do you pull it? How, how, do, you, how do you get the wrinkles out? You can't just brush them. So, I don't know, I gotta figure that out, but I'm gonna try to make it perfect for you guys. So, stay tuned. Sweat. I sweat looking at the sun, boys. Maybe I'm a little out of shape, but um, got the pavers down and the pool looks really level. There's like one spot I see that's a little high. I'm gonna try to take down a little bit. Um, I think this is how you're supposed to do it. So next, I'm gonna I'm just gonna fix that spot off camera and then I'm gonna put some water in there. So I'll catch you guys back when I'm leveling out the legs with an actual level. I think with the pavers under there, it'll be easier for me to move the legs. And also if I need to, I can hit the paper with a hammer to move it forward or backward, unlike these little plastic bottoms. So uh, I'm gonna use an actual level this time, I think. Or I might just do it by looks, you know? The, as long as it works correctly, it doesn't really matter. So, but uh, yeah, let me get some water. Real quick, forgot to mention that uh, now, after I got the papers down, I'm gonna get in the pool and try to pull these wrinkles out somehow. Um, I'll let you know how it goes and how I did it if I am successful. With the water that's in there, you can't even pull from the edge. It doesn't move. So, uh, I'm gonna try a few things. I'll yeah, get back. After many failed attempts at the wrinkles, I have my wife in there trying to show me or tell me where to pull. I was trying to pull them out, but man, there's, you know, that inch, inch of water in there is still, um, way too heavy. So, I got the shop vac out. And uh, I'm gonna try to suck the rest of this water out of here. Might take a little bit, but never know. If anybody ever does this, this is a job. It took me probably 30 minutes to get the rest of the water out with the shop back. It still has a little bit in it, but that's fine. It's not too heavy. I can still pull the liner. Um, so far, I've kind of worked all the big ones that I did have. Y'all have seen the bottom through the water. Over to here, I'm gonna work that out to that side there. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard to do after the water's all gone. I'm just gonna try to get it as smooth as possible. Add some water in here, get back in here, make sure to try to smooth things out again. The only thing that concerns me right now is, I don't know 
if I need to put those in the ground or not I don't know if that inch 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 and a half makes a difference I'm sure it does but uh, I figure they'll sink just a tad I don't know I'm I'm hoping for the best okay, I'm back and look I have gotten 95% of the wrinkles out and I'm, I'm adding water back in to try to hold the liner in place after I, you know, get the wrinkles out. But I did have to drain it all the way to easily get most of these wrinkles out that I had. Some wrinkles, I don't know if you can see them. This one, it's so low, but that's just where it was crinkled for so long. And I can't really pull it out permanently because I'll pull it and then... It'll just go right back to its original shape. But nothing that my vacuum will get stuck on. And I'm trying to get them out as best as I can. A um, couple low and high spots in here, but whatever. <clears throat> Should be all right. I basically just push them over to the side. The best way I figured out how to get them was because they were so bad, I'd get on my hands and knees like this. And then I would get some water so that my hand kind of sucks into the liner. You can see how easy I can move it. Now I pull it tight and then just work them. Like all this right here, I still gotta work to the edge. But I'm waiting on uh, the water to get a, little, a tad deeper on that side than it is over here. So waiting on the water to get in here enough and uh, we'll go from there. I want to show y'all real quick. This is only about a quarter of the water. The rest I put in just in my yard. But look at all that salt. I had so much salt in my pool. And I just thought that was crazy. How I left that salt line like that. Shoo wee, look at that. Perfect, almost wrinkle-free liner. That took, that took some work, folks. Yeah, after the liner had been sitting there and stuck to the tarp underneath and and pulling it um that was a job i am exhausted i'm dehydrated um the only thing that kept me going was running my feet in the water as i was working on it uh but i uh, got two hoses running in filling up with city water i think i've said it in my first video but it's like i think four dollars for three thousand gallons or vice versa um but i'm gonna let it get filled up enough to where it puts some tension on the liner and then that way you know to where i can still move these with pretty ease but they also will want to stay in place and then i'm gonna adjust the bricks i'm gonna keep them as close to that side as possible so that i don't have these touching my liner since they're not buried um i hope this is gonna work out like i plan but we'll see and you'll see um yeah i'll catch you when i'm working on my legs tomorrow my pool is filling up enough like I talked about last video. Um, I'll tell you my skimmer plan. I bought these plugs. They're longer than normal and I think they go in. I got two of them. Uh-oh, dropped one, doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm gonna plug both of these main holes here and pipe clamp it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll tell you the next step of my thought process. Got the plugs in, I really hope they don't leak, but just kind of pipe clamp them on there. I hope, you're in, I hope you see it. All right, so those are in, and then my skimmer hookup method, how I'm going to do it. I wanted the least amount of resistance as possible. I already showed you guys. I cut this piece down to get that uh, inch out of there and just have it at an inch and a half. This piece slides right down into this black tubing. Fairly easy. But what I'm going to do is throw flex seal around this, the, the flex seal cock. Throw it around this first, then put it in here then pipe clamp it and hope to get a good seal if not i can just flex seal around the top and it'll keep it from coming out and the other end i bought more of the big valves like that are right here this one has yeah so i bought another one of these and this will screw into the pump that way i still have a valve to screw in right there so that's my that's my plan uh stick around see if it works out same day just want to show you guys how much water is actually in here when i'm shutting it off in order to adjust the legs 
Um, I, I base it off of how much force it takes to pick up and move. You see, it's getting harder for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the water off, and then tomorrow after work, I'm gonna line up all the legs and, and level them out and all that, so. Whew. But, ha, no wrinkles, dude. Looks so good. My wife was like, it doesn't look as tacky. Thanks, babe. Thanks, I appreciate you. But, oh, and round he goes. Oh, that was sketch. I don't know where he went. Ha! Got on my legs straight just in the nick of time. I'm a little worried about one thing, and I guess we'll see how it goes the further the pool gets full. There's more liner toward the level legs over here than there is on that side in the back. I mean, I think it might be because I pulled the huge wrinkles this way, and I mean, I'm assuming it'll kind of level itself out. I don't have those 100% level. They're kicked back just a tad and that's to prevent any um like weight bearing on those legs so i don't know it's like mother nature's gonna help me fill this thing up got both hose pipes running and figured it was best to get away from it since it was lightning and stuff but oh it's a beautiful sky though good old south carolina weather catch you in the next one. oddly enough i told my wife the other day the beautiful young lady in the thumbnail that i had to work on this and i had to get it done because rain will come and if I don't have water in it it'll blow all around so luckily I was able to get some water in the bottom of it yesterday probably five or six inches like I was telling you guys and I'm really hoping the winds don't get up and start pushing it around but I mean I should get quite amount of quite a bit of water from this rain in the pool so if you live in South Carolina I call the day you can only get your pool um, sewage water forgiven once per year so I had already done that, and uh, so I, I'm, I'm having to pay like I think $76 total to fill this thing up for 13,000 gallons. So it's still not bad, but I wish it had been like 35 or 40. Anyways, I'm just ranting. See y'all when this pool is ready for the skimmer to be installed, because I think I'm gonna install it um, with the water level not so high. That way it's not as cold for me to stand in. So I'll see y'all then. Quick update for you guys, pool's almost full. Put a skimmer on there. Uh, video of installing this will be linked in the description below. I uh, went with the easy route. I didn't do no, you know, shut off valve here. I just bought a regular Intex shut off valve, the big one, same as that one. So I don't have any flow restriction. So I'll catch y'all when it's running. Ooh, a little update for y'all. These plugs were leaking a tad amount of water. It wasn't dripping or anything yet. They are underwater on this side. Um, I saw water standing in there. So I just took my little flex caulk or flex seal stuff and packed them full on the other side of that rubber plug. And I'm telling you guys, I don't know if you can see this. Look how well that flex seal does. It's literally just a layer of rubber. And there ain't no water gonna come out of that. I went ahead and filled my skimmer up by splashing water in here because it's not quite ready but i just wanted to see if i had any leaks and so far i'm i'm golden i filled my it filled this up i ain't got no water coming out anywhere i'm so excited to get this thing running i went and picked up some bags of salt earlier so stay tuned boys and girls it's time to wrap this video up finally got all my mistakes figured out man bottom's flat i got a skimmer a skimmer that's running and it's pushing this little thing now with this single big pipe faster than it ever had before it's cleaning up all the stuff on the bottom and i already put six bags of salt in there just to get it started and then once that mixes up this that vac will blow it all around so that's nice um it'll mix it all up and 
and get it going and then once all that's dissolved i'll turn on the salt water chlorinator and let it rip but i mean good grief no leaks at all on my plugs i backwashed before i started my system that's what all this is but not a single leak anywhere this thing is pulling some water the only complaint i have about it is the basket would float up so it actually caught this up in the air and it sucked air down into the line so what I did is I just put a rock in the basket, a little bitty rock, and then keep it down there. But easy fix. Anyways, all my legs are level straight. Pool's looking good. I got one low spot here, but I ain't worried about it. It's on, it's on pavers. And this answers a question if anybody has it. Do you have to bury your pavers? Heck no. But just make sure you're mindful where you put them because you don't want that paver digging into the liner. I think that's my closest one right there and i still got about an inch right there this one looks real close but it's because we're high i don't know that one is my closest one but it's about three quarter of an inch and then the rest are pretty good so i don't have a single paper hitting the liner bottom's flat got a skimmer working all the time now got my vacuum going real fast not a drop of air pulling into my system anymore thank jesus i am done i'm waiting hopefully this thing will clear up by tomorrow and uh hey i'm super pumped that wraps it up i'm gonna put the lid on the skimmer and i'm done i am done choo choo that's a train if anybody didn't know what that was if you want to see how to install that skimmer i will link that video in the description below i did a video on it while i was while i was putting it on fairly simple easy uh it'll be in the description i'm gonna kind of throw this video together i don't know how it's gonna end up because i did a lot of updates and what i was doing and hope it's good hope you guys enjoyed it come on train i'm talking always feel free to hit that subscribe button smash the like button if you like this pool stuff that i'm doing all right big country out